idiotic that next zone now promises even more carnage, Vicky. And I'll say it, Moisture not in a terrible spot to take advantage of this, but the problem is the ring. It's pulling again towards C9. Oh no, and with that scan, they know that there's two knocked, and that's gonna be the green light for Space Station to immediately fully send it onto Hell. He's playing off the knockdown shields in front of him between Verholz and Reps, and C9 looking at all of this, know that they're not gonna be giving up this space. They're gonna be staying here, settled pretty, while watching the rest of the lobby fight out right in front of them. Our last four remaining squads between Moist Space Station and the solo that is TSM being Hell, and then C9 to the south. They see TSM has been eliminated, and they're not gonna be giving up more of this space as they try to swing over to the side. There's very little space for these teams to play, but a bit of a rock outcropping right next to these buildings will provide the only temporary safety. You're really wishing you had a catalyst right around right around now, but <laughs> nobody's got that particular benefit with DSG having been eliminated. It's all going to come down to Bangalore Smokes for temporary cover and for control of the open space. Bloodhound ults are going to come at a premium, and SSG are not taking the gamble. Instead, pushing further and closer to more ultimately pushing these teams together it's just going to result in one of them going down SSG rockets forward onto C9 well, how are they gonna come out ahead of this Vicky Especially with slow heals too. Look at Saito and Frex falling incredibly low. Phony now being incredibly one-shot. Space Station get eliminated. It is Moist now versus C9. A game that C9 desperately needed. And MT's looking out for blood. He climbs up above. He tries to take a different angle. They need some help though. MT and Guild are low. But Waltzy is clearing the lobby. He fights too. And he wipes up the entirety of C9 by himself. Moist. As fortunate to make it into the top 10. Looking on the other side here, we have Eld. But two of their members are on blues. They do not have the power spikes, really, of late game to be taking a full-on 3v3 and Exit. Well, they just don't have the position to be sitting there. I'm going to be real with you right now. Exit are a foregone conclusion as they get wiped off the map. And it's now TSM and C9 that hold the high ground. TSM's Evo shields are so much scarier as Imperial Hal takes onto the forefront. Legacy are just watching this happen, waiting for their chance to third party off of the low ground because the zone is coming to them. It's a perfect setup as the clean the OI comes into play as TSM are able to clutch up a rep step. Caught out in front of them. Goes for the knock, but I like the switch of an angle. Starting to look more towards Legacy, forcing C9 to maybe push into them instead. They sw C9 swing Legacy, but they do not get a knock instead. Now they've overcommitted onto that side. Naughty's got no help. TSM have all the time in the world, and C9 go down as a duo with the high ground. TSM can still do nothing against oh. Legacy, or, or is how going to clutch it it's 1v1 how's got no shields but a shield swap comes in jaguaris has the health advantage how's got to drop and take the fight but jaguaris with the havoc from behind the caustic barrel takes the win with no time to heal it up in the last moments even but that's not particularly enough they need to find greater beams because this seems is gonna have to push them first Absolutely. Ooh, huge beams coming in. Phony trying to get that follow up here. Playing off the side of the tower. Native Gaming, the only team to bring out that Loba, by the way, have not denied themselves that loot. They have the Moby right in front of them for some extra makeshift cover. And Rambo's got the Kraber in hand with four bullets left. Star in so many ways. And you think of Rambo. You, you think of the ability to show up and clutch. You think of the hair as well. We'll see if he's going to be celebrating after this. He's got a tough uphill battle here. But maybe he just might get a little lucky. And by that, I mean maybe Elevate say, we want to play for something. We want to take matters into our own hands. And we're going to be the ones to push SSG. That means now they've taken zero damage and gotten three kills. And it's Native who are late to the party. Elevate! Vicky, they're looking like they're gonna try to do it, but it's one kill already from Lux Ferdy and Elevate Gaming. They're just trying to survive. Will Native have been able to push? Rambo grabs a second one, it's Sap. And Native Gaming will take the win. Rambo and squad will cut, clutch it up yet again. Do you think maybe we're starting to see an option for Rambo to clutch it up with his boys one more time? 
It's certainly possible. I'm Solo, that is Furia, right below everybody. Look at Keon, just minding his own business. I, I don't know if it's due to the pressure, but Designful with no white health is driving me insane here. Hasn't been able to likely find the resource, and there you can see as we tune on down below. Yes, nothing to be had here. A single caustic gas trap would be enough, but can he get, well, disguised to a position up upon the Ooh. roof space station gaming are more than happy to welcome disguise with open arms and getting a knock onto design was huge they finally found the rat that was furia timmy cleans that up extra kp here for disguise and space station with the scan see the team right below them Chaos is ensuring now as five squads are left. Legacy on the other side, but Space Station have the high ground. Disguise playing outside the building on the low ground. From above, though, this stack is so hard to navigate. Seconds to boot when we talk about having to make an exit here for SSG with no cover to even exist within. It's the perfect opportunity for them to drop in. Well, find themselves now lower than can be with Crook. Ooh. J.E. on Oriolus working their way out at the very end here. They're more than happy to clean things up, but don't have the time to reset as Legacy from above. Clean it up. Legacy with the... Well, I know that we were on the TSM listen inside of that, but here he pearls. Almost die, <laughs> then almost die, and then get kidnapped and die. It was too good. It was too good. It was actually... It was... Tr and Legacy do not have to worry about anything. They've got so much more cover than a team like SSG on the low ground. A single member left. And Legacy will eventually have to pick one of two possible exits from this building. They can wait on that decision, however, as they're going to have plenty of squads exiting the lobby before then. TSM now have to decide, do they deal with LG first? Do they deal with Legacy first? Because the choice is theirs, but it is not an enviable one. The third parties are real in end games like this. They're waiting for it, but this is something to come into question. The composition, the Valkyrie doesn't have a lot of utility in end zone like this, even with her purple evil shield perk, but they do have the ability to get onto that high ground here as Verhulst takes some shots at LG moving in. They're taking onto the low ground and Evac Tower has been called in from Legacy. LG now are looking to slow rotate this and with the smoke nade blocking their vision, TSM are trying to split their attention to the squad right below. TSM because if they take this Evac Tower, they can get right on top of them. TSM can take the middle ground right now. They don't want to give up height too soon, but a huge Bangalore all rips through TSM. Very low health bars, but they're still burning luminosity, dropping onto the middle ground. It's TSM looking down on a clash of legacy and luminosity. Everyone knows they're on height, but they can't do much about it. Luminosity are hiding, legacy are hiding, and eventually TSM are going to have to come down. How? Throws in a nice shot with the bolt, and somehow, some way, the caustic gas wins it all. And TSM went on night station. <laughs> but I didn't. I decided to go uh, sports, a little esports. <laughs> we kept it in the pocket there. But here's the thing sitting in 12th they were holding the position it was c9 so many teams tried to get ahead of them it started slow it was x set it was optic we talked about how can we have a land without them well c9 also entered